Hello, my name is Peter Rice from the Adobe Connect team, and I'd like to share with you some of the exciting new features coming in Adobe Connect 9.75. In our new installer, you'll find some options to choose whether you would like to install a desktop icon or a start menu. We've also added the ability for you to select which speaker you'd like to hear during the audio broadcast from within the meeting itself. We've also added the ability for you to store not only your login name, but also your password, and also the ability to launch another meeting quickly and easily directly from the meeting application itself. Let's start by taking a look at our new installer. Simply download our new installer and double click directly from your desktop. You will see after you click the run button that the installation is extremely quick. Once it's installed, you have the option to then install a desktop icon or a start menu item. Pick which one you like and simply hit exit. Now that I've done that, I can simply go down to my start menu and I will see that the Adobe Connect application is available to me from here. Simply click that and you'll see another one of our new features and that is that the URL that I used to join my most recent meeting has already been pre-populated in the list for in my URL entry field. That makes it quick and easy for me to join another meeting. We've also added the ability to clear your recents and your uh, favorites lists. So if I no longer need these meetings, I simply click clear favorites and click OK and now I can add new favorites to that meeting list. But by using the pre-populated URL in the field, I simply type in the room name itself and I can join that room quickly and easily. Now I get my new login screen where I can enter my username and my password. But if I've checked the box that asks the system to remember me on this computer and then I use the I enter the meeting, it will in fact securely store my login, including my password. So I can join this meeting and if I want to, after joining the meeting, if I need to leave this meeting or go to another meeting, I can simply log out of that particular meeting room, go and relaunch the Adobe Connect application, choose which meeting room I'd like to join, and in fact, it will not prompt me to log in with my username and password because those are already stored and it will simply take me quickly into my meeting room. From within my new meeting room, you'll see that I have the option to go to my speaker icon and a new feature to select which of the speakers that are available to me I would like to listen to. So if I want to perhaps plug in a headset and then go and select the headset microphone, I can now go in and select the headset headphones that match that to be able to hear the audio through my headset instead of through my desktop speakers. From Within the meeting, I can also quickly and easily launch another meeting room. Simply use Control N on your Windows computer and it will launch a second instance of the meeting room. This is very useful if perhaps you're in one meeting and it's running late and you need to join another meeting to let them know that you will be a few more minutes. So you can do that very easily directly from the meeting room itself, again, with Control N. So those are a few of the great new features in the Adobe Connect 9.75 application.